In this tutorial, we will understand how to set up real-time rates and label printing for USPS, FedEx, and UPS using X Adapters WooCommerce Easy Post Shipping Method plugin. Once the plugin is installed and activated, click on Settings option to get started. The plugin settings are divided into five tabs. In the first tab, you can configure general API settings. The second tab allows you to configure real-time rates and services. The third set of settings is where you configure label generation. In the fourth tab, you can select desired parcel packaging method. In the last section, you can enter your plugin API key and your registered email address to activate our easy post shipping plugin. Let's get started with general settings. The very first setting is to enable real-time rates. Tick this checkbox to access shipping rates from shipping carriers like USPS, FedEx, and UPS on your WooCommerce cart and checkout page. If you are facing any issues with accessing real-time rates, or are running into trouble with the plugin, enable the debug mode to see the response and request information in the cart and checkout page. In the next setting, you need to enter your Easy Post API key. For receiving this API key, you need to sign up for an Easy Post account. Enter required details in the given sign up form. Once you have registered your account successfully, move to the dashboard section. Go to account settings and click API keys. You'll be provided with production API key as well as test API key. If you are testing your settings to access real time rates, use the test API key. If you are going live for accepting real order transactions, use the production key. Copy the desired API key and paste it in the API key text field of the plugin. Next, based on the API key used, select the appropriate API mode. If you use test API key and select the live API mode, you'll run into trouble and will end up scratching your head. Hence, make sure to choose appropriate API mode. Click save changes to save the settings. Moving to rates and services settings. The first setting is to define a custom method title for easy post shipping method. This title will be visible in cart and checkout page when the fallback rate is applied. You can also choose where you want to offer the easy post shipping method. You can choose to offer in all countries, or choose specific countries from the given list. Next, enter the origin zip code. This zip code is of the location from where you will be sending your shipments, and will be used for calculating shipping rates. Similarly, select the sender country from the drop-down list. The flat rate boxes setting allows you to select desired USPS flat rate boxes. Refer this article, for detailed information on these flat rate boxes and their pricing. The link for the article is given in the video description. The flat rate fee is used to include an additional charge on shipping rate. To subtract the amount, enter a negative value. Leave this field empty to disable flat rate fee. The next setting is to define a fallback rate. If the API fails to return any real-time rates from USPS, FedEx, or UPS, this fallback rate will be applied. This will help customers complete the order transaction when shipping rates are not returned. In the next setting, select desired shipping carriers that you'll be using in your store. As the shipping carrier is selected, the appropriate services are populated in the services table. The services table lists all the services of the selected shipping carriers. It is divided into four columns. The first column lists all the services. You can enable or disable desired services. In the second column, you can define a custom name for the services. The third and fourth column are used for price adjustments. You can set an amount value, or percentage value for the price adjustments. Select your desired services and save the settings. Next up, is the label generation settings. Under label printing API settings, select the shipping label format. Our plugin offers PNG and PDF options. Next setting is to enable insurance option. Tick this checkbox to insure your parcels. Easy Post charges 1% of the value, with $1 minimum amount for the insurance. 
Once this option is enabled, the insurance option will be available under Label Generation section in WooCommerce Admin Order page. Under Origin Address Settings, enter sender details like sender name, company name, address, email address, and phone number. In addition to this, the plugin allows you to define product description for customs purposes. This will be helpful while sending international shipments. The plugin also allows you to set a different address for return shipments. Tick the return address checkbox, and provide the address details for return shipments. If this setting is disabled, the origin address will be taken as the return address, by default. Lastly, click on Save Changes button. The last set of settings is related to parcel packaging. Our WooCommerce Easy Post plugin provides two methods for packing your parcels. The first method allows you to pack items individually. The second method allows you to pack items into boxes based on weight and dimensions. Once this option is selected, you are required to add custom boxes. Enter desired box name, dimensions, and weight value. Additionally, tick the respective letter checkbox if you want to mail letters. Finally, select desired packing method and save the settings. Now that we have configured the plugin settings, let us move to the front end of our WooCommerce store. Once a product is added to the cart, our WooCommerce Easy Post Shipping Method plugin fetches real-time rates of USPS, FedEx, UPS, and displays them in this way. Here's how domestic rates and services are displayed. You can also notice the USPS flat rate box which we had configured in the flat rate boxes settings of our plugin. When a customer changes the address to an international address, the plugin fetches the international rates and services in this way. Once your customers have placed their order, move to WooCommerce Admin Order page to generate shipping labels. First, select an order for which you want to generate a label. Move to the EasyPost.com Shipment Label Meta box, and click Generate Packages to generate the packages. Next, the plugin allows you to update the shipping service, USPS flat rate box, and insurance amount. Choose appropriate settings, and click Create Shipment Label to proceed further. Once the shipment is created, you can notice the shipment tracking ID generated. You can click on the tracking ID to check the shipment tracking status. Finally, click on Print Label to print the shipping label. Here's a sample domestic label generated using this plugin. In the same way, you can generate international labels as well. In this way, you can generate shipping labels with our WooCommerce Easy Post Shipping Method plugin. To know more features of the plugin, refer the product page. And for any queries, feel free to get in touch with us. We will be happy to help you out.